I am Captain Frank Crescentelli. Here we are at ICAST 2015 at the Cortland booth. We're fooling around with some C16, just figuring out what kind of applications we have for this really cool stuff. So what we're gonna do is show how versatile the C16 is. The Cortland C16, traditionally known as big game backing, cool thing about it is because I am one of these guys who forgets a lot of things, I forget to order backing when I gotta set up a new fly line. So I already have C16 in stock because I'm doing all my big game reels. So I just use this as my fly backing. So I'll load up my reel with C16. I have a Portland 444 classic line. Simple, cool, neat way of doing it is to splice your fly line right into your backing. So we take our splicing needle, we take our fly line, put it inside the splicing needle, take the splicing needle and insert it into our backing. We can get this needle right in to the end of it. So a neat way of doing this is to just hold it flat on your finger and just slide the needle in. The trick is to have your line going straight coming out the end there. So that's it. So I've got my needle inserted into my C16 and then I'm just going to worm it up if you will. Excuse the pun. So there we go. Just going to, so my needle just slides in, slides in, slides in. We slip it up the, up the needle. We do that a little bit. You can go as far as you like. Anything more than 18 inches is probably overkill, but I normally go four feet. So what does that say about me? And that's it. See, in. Now I wanna come out, pull it out. There's my fly line. So we bring our fly line out the end of the C16. We just cut it off. So we have our fly line coming out the end of our C16, wherever we decide that is. We just slip it in, pop it out, boom. Now it's inside, it's encapsulated completely in there. It's a super smooth, super neat thing. And look, it's Chinese fingered in there, so it's never, ever, ever gonna come out. So we just pull back the C16. We drip a little bit of the glue on there. We then take the C16, pull it tight, slip it over the glue, ah, and we're done. If you didn't do a single thing from this point forward, this will never come out, ever, ever, ever. But to finish it off neatly, we can just take some Master Braid, 20 pound, and finish this off. So what we do, take our line, take overhand loop, wrap inside of it. That is called a uni knot. There we go. We get that towards the end there, and you can see that thing, how it'll cinch up. It's pretty neat. So that's cinched down tight on there. We then cut off this. And then look, we're just gonna wrap this over. That's it. It's fun to do. It's pretty neat. That's it, done. We just go here. Make an overhand knot, drop that bobbin inside of that. And if we get it off the end, there it is. And that's over, done. Pull this tight. Everything tightens right up. Put a little super glue on there and we're done. And we got a fly line spliced into the end of our Backing. That's it for me. ICAST 2015 is over. 
Now we get to the part that we love to do, which is fish. 